It's a wonderful story about how one man can read a book, understand why that's important, and then can almost alone put together the resources and the political will to get something that important done for the state. And I said to myself, if this is a good thing to do, I should do it. It was always kind of a mysterious, magical place and people wondered about. The John McPhee book certainly had a lot to do with raising public consciousness about the Pinelands. The Pinelands represents wilderness that you can't find in New Jersey and other places. You can drive just a few miles, whether you're in Philadelphia or you could come down from New York, and you can come out to an area where it is completely quiet. And it is a gift we have to come and walk away from modern life and distractions that is becoming increasingly rare for all of us. This is the most densely populated state in the nation. And while I always wanted New Jersey to be first in a lot of things, the one first I don't want it to be in, which in, in fact scientists and others say we're very close to reaching, which is the first state to be fully developed. And so it becomes even more important to preserve something as magnificent and big as the Pine Barrens. The governor made it clear that this was going to be a legacy issue for him, and then he was fully prepared to make things happen, which is exactly how it played out. This would not have happened but for the effort of Governor Byrne. I mean, he had the energy, the uh, drive, stick to itness, and frankly, the courage to face the hostility that was there to get this through. Governor Byrne was calling individual legislators into his private office in the State House to tell him how important this legislation was to him. If it weren't for Governor Byrne, I don't think it would have been possible because the resistance was so fierce. You have to realize this is a real experiment. This is the nation's first national reserve. It's an alternative to a national park. Probably the best legislative representation of some of the most innovative land use planning techniques anywhere in the country, all kind of wrapped up you know, in, in one piece of legislation and one regulatory body, the likes of which we really have not seen emulated really anywhere else. The jeopardy to the water supply that we have avoided as a result of the Pilots Commission is tangibly probably the most significant thing we've done. This is how you make your legacy. You do something good environmentally. You save freshwater wetlands. You preserve a million acres of open space. You preserve the pinelands. I mean, that's, that's what people remember because those are the things that matter to generations to come. And I think current politicians would do well to remember that. A lot of the people, by the way, have come around and said to me, you were right, but not at the time. I don't think there's any question, but the Pinelands has been a bipartisan, nonpartisan effort, and that's the way it should be, and that's the way it should stay. Governor Byrne's role in this whole thing has been exemplary, and in five words, I would say, I appreciate his foresight. Human beings need wilderness, if only to know that it's there, as a place that you can go to and be in, and that it is integral to our spirit as a species that we have places to go that are wild and untamed where you can wander to whatever degree you wish. Even if you never go there, you need to know that it's there and that's what this place is. I frankly think that the only way that we can ensure that the Pine Barrens are protected in the way that they should be is because the public buys into it. There are too many special interests that can have influence that we'd rather they didn't have on those making the decisions. They respond to the public, and if the public says no, this is something special, this is a treasure, this is unique, and therefore, don't mess with it. Now my children, hopefully their children, who want to live in New Jersey, are gonna to go to the Pinelands. They're gonna say, who was Brendan Byrne? And somebody's gonna tell them it was a man who preserved 
for pine woods. It's not a bad epitaph. <laughs>